Thank you, thank you. My name is Thomas McInerney. I'm here to talk to you about IBM Watson uh, in the developer cloud and more specifically a guide to their APIs. So just a little background on Watson. I'm sure everybody's at least heard of Watson. It's a uh, supercomputer combining AI and extreme analytics. And that is basically just IBM's word for big data. Uh, you can see just about 3,000 cores, 16 terabytes of RAM holds the entire Library of Congress in random access memory. So very fast, um, trillion calculations per second. And IBM Watson got its start in Jeopardy back in 2001. Uh, kind of considered like the grandfather of real AI that was able to beat uh, two humans. So actually today, this morning, um, just teamed up with Salesforce's Einstein, so to sort of be a super, super computer. Um, so some of these, some of its use examples are like a customer service chatbot, uh, kind of replace low wage workers. And I'll show you an example a little later, but in instances where customer service reps really get laid into uh, by angry customers, this can help um, kind of talk to them. Uh, investment advisory. It's being used for trade-off analytics between uh, risky and rewarding investments. Election sentiment with uh, the popularity, popularity ahead of polls in social media. And instant um, language translation, translation for conference calling. So it is available in all these languages, but we're most focused on Node, of course. So. Um, I'll show you a few examples in a second, but it is available for free. Uh, you get to play around with it. I think you get like 10,000 API calls a month, so it's really not uh, anywhere right now in your realm of hitting that limit. Really easy setup. You're just going to go to the IBM website, create account, grab the API key, like uh, kind of similar how do we did before with Google, and uh, you can get clone or npm install and you are set up and ready to go. Uh, these are just a few examples of the APIs that they have. Alchemy language, tone analysis, and personality insights are the three that we'll be going over. And the rest are kind of cool to check out on your own. Um, they can do really, really interesting stuff. Alchemy language is uh, an analysis service that basically does natural language processing. Um, through any sort of keywords you want to plug in or emotion and sentiment. And then it also indexes 300,000 uh, news articles every day continuously. So you can set it up to whenever it hits a keyword to do these calls and send you information to your app. Um, very easily accessed through get and post request, which we've all done before. The tone analyzer um, can take documents and even single sentences such as tweets and give you uh, break it down into emotions that we're uh, familiar with. So anger, joy, fear. Um, you can even plug in an email before you send it out to see if maybe you're a little bit too angry. <laughs> and this can be done uh, just as easily in a get post request with a query string or you can develop a simple little node app. And I've got uh, a node app to show you guys, as, as well as a uh, GUI to kind of see it more visually. And then personality insights is the last one that we'll go over. It, um, this one really is cool. They use it a lot for like plugging in a resume. You can kind of get uh, the feel of someone, as well as kind of creepy, uh, how likely they are to spend money on a car based on like simple things like Facebook posts. And that will be another note example. So I'm just going to get right into those. I think that's the coolest part about this. So we will I'll first show you the code. Um, so that's a little tough for you guys to see. The first one we'll do is the alchemy text. And I've had, I have this one set up here to monitor for uh, company acquisitions, like in the, in the last day or so. And we'll just do this by going to a curl request in the terminal. And by putting in that query string with your API key, you can see, yeah, see it's, it's really amazing how fast it does it. But it, this comes back with, uh, you can start to see some of these companies looking to be acquired, Spanish hospitals getting acquired, 
uh, Penske acquires Jaguar, Land Rover in New Jersey. So that's pretty cool. Definitely the fastest and easiest way to do it is that query string. But if you want to get a little bit more complicated, we can switch to a node app. Here's the tone analyzer. What I've plugged in is uh, the snows of Kilimanjaro, a small blurb from that. So um, we'll see uh, the tone anal analyzer work that way. And so based on Hemingway, this will show you he is not very angry in this blurb, uh, nor is he very joyful, but he does <laughs> express a lot of sadness. And uh, what else do we have here? Conscientiousness. So that's uh, something I thought was pretty cool. And then we'll switch over to the personality insights. And this is pretty interesting, uh, sort of similar as to what it shows. But you do get to see here, like he is uh, very likely to volunteer for social causes, um, likely to read often, that makes sense, and uh, <laughs> like cl classical music. And there is not likely to like rap music. And uh, likely to like adventure movies. And he is likely to spend money on an expensive car. So just by putting in about 100 words, it can tell that um, about you. So here is the uh, sort of a graphical uh, view of the alchemy, the first one that we went over. This kind of breaks down the words um, and prevalence to show you the sentiment. Um, really, really flexible in terms of things you can do with this. Personality insights. What we have here is actually Barack Obama's 2012 debate text. So we'll plug that in, go for a little analysis. And you can see he uh, is very high at the emotional range and conscientiousness level and very open. Um, and then maybe not as agreeable. Maybe Watson's a little bit of a conservative. But uh, <laughs> that's up for debate. And we'll switch over to the tone analyzer. This is a, uh, a letter to a company about uh, disappointing sales um, report. So we'll analyze that. And it, it will show you kind of these, uh, you know, a little bit sadness and uh, not so much joy. And then you can break it down into a very convenient JSON string and get that back. And um, as you can imagine, you, it's very, very, very easy to, get a, to go through that and uh, plug that into your apps. The last thing I want to show you is the actual code that you'll be writing for the tone analyzer. It is a const tone, tone analyzer v3 equals require Watson developer cloud slash tone analyzer. And that is it. You plug in your API key and your text, and that is all you have to do. So it is, in total, a nine lines of code. So thank you.